Alrighty, um, but normally, this is where I would say hello and welcome back, um, but this video is starting off on a bit of a, a sad note, um, approximately, I don't know, it was the beginning of the week, I think it was Monday, um, I was going through, I hadn't played a game, let me rephrase that, I haven't recorded anything probably a week and a half, something like that, prior to this day. I've just been going through editing, you know, rendering, getting ready to upload, and I'm going through trying to edit some stuff, and... The way my USBs are set up right now, I only have four slots. And in reality, I have one slot and I have a four USB port adapter going in. Well, it's kind of loose. In that four piece adapter, I have my external hard drive that I purchased two months ago. And it was a really painful process of me trying to figure out how to move stuff back and forth. Like move it from my computer to the hard drive and have it show back up in my um, Elgato Game Capture software. Because to go through each folder individually it was a pain. I could just go into Elgato, it's all separated by what game it is. And I got them all numbered, so you know, I know I'm looking for this game, episode 25. Scroll down a little bit, boom, there it is. Well, as I mentioned, the USB port was loose. I was unplugging my recording mic, because I was like, well, I haven't played in a while, you know, this will be easier for me to do if I can just set the laptop on my lap and, you know, just type stuff up. Well, in the process of doing that, it lost connection with my external hard drive, which reverted my Elgato to change from using the external hard drive, which it deemed was no longer connected, and switched it to the main hard drive on my laptop. This made all my videos disappear out of the Elgato game capture software program. So, in the process of trying to switch it around, I, you know, I turned my computer off, hooked everything back up, it kicked up, it was fine. Hard drive showing. But, even after I changed it, my videos weren't showing back up. So, I had heard that if you copy them back into a new folder... It would work so I tried that somehow in the process I lost everything everything got deleted so I already had 46 episodes of The Witcher 3 recorded we're jumping in when I already got 20 hours into the game for that I apologize but I don't really feel like starting it over again. Maybe after this one, maybe I'll do another playthrough on a harder difficulty or something. I don't know. But as of right now, we're just going to keep rolling with how it is. So I apologize you're coming in like quarter of the way into the game. Sorry. But it's the way it's got to be.
Okay, so let me just show you this. This is where you start the game right here. Um, this is the second area you come to. I'm basically almost done with this and I got about 20 hours into it now. I believe approximately I got about 20 hours, maybe a little more. Actually. Yeah, I have 20 hours and 39 minutes into it. I lied, I have 20 hours and 44 minutes. Okay. So it took me 20 hours just to complete the first area. Uh, if I remember right, the next area I have to go to is not as big as this area. Like, this area I'm in right now is huge, so... Next area probably won't take me as long, maybe 12 to 15, if I do everything. My plan is to do everything in the area before I leave, but that could also possibly change, because there's some missions I just can't do... yet. I'm just, uh... Level, I think, 14, if that. Yeah, level 14. Okay, yep, it's up in the corner. I need to get a couple more. None of this will really make sense to you unless you've played this game before. It was kind of confusing for me. You have to match up the colors with the mutagens you put in. I'm sorry about the coughing in the background. Alrighty, so let's go to this marker here real quick. I'm just gonna, you know, do whatever side missions I can do for now. Probably go explore all my markers. So it'll help all the combat. I mean, you don't really get much XP for combat. It's mainly for doing quests, but still, some XP is better than no XP. That's a death if I go down there. As you can see, I have a meter with the skull on it. I am toxic because I took a bunch of uh, potions for a fight for this. That was actually a really awesome fight and I did really well. And I'm really disappointed that nobody gets to see it. Now, I do have this on, like, normal difficulty or something, I don't know. The first time I tried playing this game, I only made it a little bit further than where I am now. But I was playing on the hardest difficulty, and I probably had every bit of <laughs> 50 hours into it. What are ghouls again? They're necrophages, right? Put on some necrophage oil. 
so I do more damage. No, why are you attacking that way? All of a sudden it's night time. It's very strange. It was literally just the middle of the day when I went in there. You know, I really need to be killing these. Oh, it will. Okay. I'm very toxic. Nope, that is not what I wanted it to do. What the? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess he did hit me a little bit. Too good to pass up. That really froze the ground here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's gone. So what did that bear kill? Was it a deer? Oh, rabbit. Had to take a little pause there. Oh, 
Bottom area is all. Let's see what this guy has to oh, say. You're back. Got what you asked for. Thank ye. Now I need a moment. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to Arthur say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood. Of hen he care, of a planted seed. Ithlene's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. As you see, I'm only level 14. All the other missions I have here are very high level. However, this one and this one I'm going to try. I don't know if the cards... I don't know if the cards get as hard or not, but uh, we'll find out. Jeez, everyone has to slam doors. I'm, mm, 22 might be pushing it. I am an idiot. I apologize. I forgot to mark my mission. Where are you? Now, we're going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work, though. I don't know if they're just going to, like, one-punch me and I'm going to get knocked out or what. But we're going to try. There we go. I think he's like right around this, yeah, he's right around this corner here. I am also gonna save right here just in case. Uh, no. 
that is not, I didn't want to make a new sound. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, now, wrong one. We're gonna meditate away these drugs. Refill all our stuff. Geralt. Patty Gruber, I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. You know what? I was thinking about doing a low bet and save scumming if I won, but I'm ready. I'll just go right away to the high bet. Last. Champion Archibald O'Neill to face Geralt. Fight! Mistake. Not good. We have a new champion, the man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt, a beautiful bout. Want to be crowned the best in Novigrad? Who do I got to fight? You two are the local champions to choose from. Pile Driver and Captain Mortimer of the Temple Guard. And here's your prize. Alrighty, and on that note, we're going to go ahead and end off here, and we'll pick back up in the next episode. So until then, see you later, and thanks for watching.